Hi, I'm Bruce Austin, the Vice Chairman of NASDAQ and President of the NASDAQ Entrepreneurial Center. We're here at the NASDAQ Entrepreneurial Center today with Dominic Williams. Dominic is the founder of Definity. So Donna, Dominic, great to be, great to have you here. Thank you. And first, could you tell us a little bit about your company and, your, and yourself and how you started this, uh, this great company? Sure, so it, it's a new business model actually, so it's not a company. Um, Definity is a, a not-for-profit foundation, but um, it's developing uh, an open, decentralized network that will produce what we call the internet computer. And you can think about that as an internet supercomputer that you can use to um, host software and data and so on. So we, we want the internet computer to um, host the world's software, essentially. Okay. And so how does that work into blockchain? And then tell us about how it's related to blockchain. So blockchain um, is really a technical mechanism that allows you to create um, networks or services that don't have uh, single points of failure and operate even without a backing or supporting organization. And we've used a blockchain-like mechanism to create a network that generates the internet computer, which is a new way of hosting software. That sounds all very complex. Uh, speaking of complex, let's talk about cryptocurrencies. How do they fit into this, into Definity? So cryptocurrencies you know, are built using blockchain mechanisms, mm -hmm. but um, Def Definity is a very different kind of system. It's an internet computer, so it's a bit like cloud 3.0, and it provides a completely new way to you know, build software systems and host software systems, and potentially in the future to uh, create a new sort of generation of internet services, for example, that um, are more open, run as sort of open source businesses, and more provide users better guarantees about how their data is um, maintained. And, uh, so, you know, we, sh we share some technical underpinnings in the sense that, you know, both related to blockchain, but it's a very different thing. Although, you know, the, the, it, it's, it's what we call a token operated network. Right. So you do need tokens to do things like install software, run software, store data, that kind of thing. Well, I know you're the chief scientist at Definity, so can you tell us about the Definity project and kind of what's the goal there? So the, def the, the purpose of, of, of the internet computer is really to create a completely alternative IT stack. Okay. So on the one hand, the internet computer provides a mechanism to host software and data that's completely open. So you know, today, the internet, if you like, is an open network. And we want to see the cloud be an open network. So you know, uh, we are to, for example, traditional um, cloud computing and the traditional technology stack you know, somewhat like what the internet was to AOL and CompuServe. And so on the one hand, we, we provide a, a way to uh, host software and data on an open network and run services from that open network. But uh, we actually also bring a whole new way of building software systems and IT infrastructure. Interesting. So if you can look into the future of Divinity and blockchain, what, how do you predict it's going to turn out? So. I think, you know, when, when you look at systems like Definity, you can see that blockchain could be an immensely far-reaching. But right. what I'd say is that you have to look beyond the, the word blockchain a little bit because blockchain is just uh, a sort of technical mechanism uh, that enables you to create decentralized networks um, and services without a single point of failure. And actually, there are lots and lots of different kinds of blockchain mechanism. Right. So there's a very you know, broad stable of uh, technologies, and, and the field is developing very fast. Um, what is important is that you, it, it's about far more than cryptocurrencies. Right. Right? So when you're talking about software, you know, running software for the world, well, everything pretty much runs on software these days. Right? Right. So it's very, potentially very broad reaching. So uh, let's talk a little bit about other topic that's very popular these days is ICOs. So what is an ICO and how does it differ from traditional businesses? So an ICO is an automated fund fundraising mechanism for the development of tokenized services. And uh, you know, typically, for example, somebody proposes some decentralized application or decentralized network and you know, they need funding to pay developers and so on. So they'll run an ICO to raise money for it. Right. So why did Definity do an airdrop rather than an ICO? So we, we ran an airdrop because we wanted to make sure that uh, 
the sort of community members had what we call affinities, these tokens you need to make the... Well, explain for the eyes of me what an airdrop is. For so an airdrop is the distribution of tokens in a system mm -hmm. um, for no payment. Right? So I think, you know, sort of 75,000 plus people received Definity tokens, and that will enable them in the future to, you know, experiment with the internet computer without making any personal investment or payment. Um, and the reason we did that was we wanted to make sure that um, community members had tokens if they hadn't had a chance to acquire them by other means. Very fascinating. I think the whole space is very fascinating. And we've only got a few minutes here to talk about it, but we have a whole session here tonight, so it's going to be exciting. Tell us about, you know, obviously there's a concern around regulation. Yeah. And in your mind, does the industry need more re regulation? And if so, why? So it's a very, you know, tricky question. And it's certainly true that uh, there's, a, there's been a broad spectrum of ICOs. You know, some of the organizations running ICOs um, are very well-meaning, well and they um, are certainly applying the funds they raised in a responsible manner. Um, on the other end of the spectrum, you know, you have pure scams, and there's actually been plenty of them. Um, the question is, how do you actually regulate this thing? Because ICOs run, or can run, on unstoppable, uh, for example, smart contract platforms like Ethereum. Right. right? right. Uh, and because these platforms are designed to be unstoppable um, and are accessible from anywhere in the world, it's not clear how you know, regulation in one part of the world would stop these systems being created. So that being said, I think uh, you know, the US has to be very careful that it doesn't introduce regulations that simply um, exclude you know, US companies and entrepreneurs and developers from um, the sort of emerging field, right? On the other hand, I think, uh, I, I think regulators probably should pursue you know, egregious frauds and bad practices to try and kind of control the number of scams that we're seeing. And, and also, um, you know, established institutions like NASDAQ itself can try and introduce indexes and so on that give people some kind of useful quality control. No, that's, that's, I think it's a, it's a very complex space. And you mentioned Ethereum. Tell us about how Ethereum and Definity either work together or differ. So you can look at, um, you know, the lineage, if you like, of uh, Definity as moving through Bitcoin, which was the first centralized network. It just created a simple ledger which you could move Bitcoin tokens around on. Um, through, to, through Ethereum, which is a smart contract platform, through to where we are now, which is the internet computer. Right. Um, so you know, it's certainly true that w without Ethereum, there wouldn't have been a Definity. Um, without Ethereum, there wouldn't have been a Bitcoin. But actually, you know, the project dates back to the end of 2013 when I first started working on uh, mechanisms to speed up basic tokenized uh, payment methods because I wanted to create um, a token for the games industry. And when I looked into it, I found that the, the, the designs weren't up to my requirements. So I started working on that and worked on that through 2014. And then Definity was founded at the beginning of 2015 um, based on a new ideas about how you could organize um, uh, decentralized networks to create what we describe as the internet computer. Right. Very fascinating, Dominic. So thanks so much for your time. I know we're going to hear a lot more from you later on tonight. Uh, Dominic Williams is the founder of Definity. I'm Bruce Dawson, Vice Chairman of NASDAQ. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you.